Barnes out there with Pirtle. Then there's Emmanuel quickly, and it's Barrett at the small forward. With the majority of the season behind us, GA, what becomes the focus for teams that have postseason aspirations? Kevin, ideally, this is the time of year that you want to be hitting your stride. So you have to make sure everyone's on the same page and that you're united in the same goal. Can't nail the jump. Kid against Pirtle. Irving kicks to Kid. Three pointer. Krill's the three pointer. Kid's got his team on the board to start the game for the Mans. And still fresh on everybody's mind, the moment when MP eclipsed the incredible point total that Michael Jordan scored in his legendary 1986 87 season. Craig, you remember it well. It was amazing. Yeah, I mean, he scored 3,041 points that year, the highest total of his career. It's stunning to see a player surpass it, and that's the kind of generational talent MP is. Now Trent, after the miss three from Kidd, and Toronto turns it over again. And with plenty of games still ahead, here's a quick rundown of the power rankings thus far. You take a look at the Cavaliers. They ascend up the list to number three with some spirited play. And hey guys, right now for Dallas, they just crushed expectations all season long. Only a few people thought they could sustain this level of excellence, but here they are. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. Oh, G.A., the long arms and athleticism up and down this roster for the Raptors. It is something. Yeah, they, they have a type that they're looking for. Blocks, steals, deflections, all coming in bunches. The activity will be there. Hey, look at Pirtle. Making it look easy, dropping the hammer down on the defense. To the left side wing. Tires from the corner. That's good on the jump shot. And that's now seven points for the professor. Kid's gone two or three from the floor. Wall against quickly. Over in the corner, Barnes. Trent outside. Five on the clock. Turtle sets the pick for Trent. Misses the three. Well, it was Toronto winning their last game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Kid, good. Kid's got nine. In Toronto, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Barnes looking around. Pass to Barrett. Trent outside. Five to shoot. Trains the three-pointer. And you see the passing instincts Barrett has. Great at recognition out on the floor. And Wall kicks to Kidd. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Toronto Raptors. Four-point game. Quickly the pass to Barrett. It's rebounded by Dallas. Last time they met was in Dallas. Yeah, and they picked up the win in their last game against this club, and really it was a parade to the free throw line. Yeah, it did a really good job of drawing foul after foul. Very physical and rugged in how they performed. And it paid off. Quickly against Wong. Quickly kicks to Barrett. Pass to Pirtle. The kick out to Barnes. And the Raptors hit again from deep. And when Purple sees a guy on his team open, he finds him right away, whipping that pass there directly. The 2022 Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. But you know what, Greg? Still working to take that next step. What do you think is his key? Kevin, that's an easy one. It's going to be perimeter shooting. You know, we, we get spoiled with all the other things he can do. And he's had a tremendous start to his NBA career. But I think to become that superstar, the jump shot has to become a weapon. He is getting it done on the offensive end. Five buckets through seven shots. 
So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. We've seen the professor really having a great game. And he continues to burn them with his scoring. The coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively. And how about we check the numbers for him? And it's a nice month he's having. Something's got him motivated. He, he's become a much bigger contributor offensively. He's settled into the kind of groove that every player wants to get in. 58 seconds left here in the first quarter. Barrett, no good. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And Green gets it to go. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Passes to Moore. Here's Dick. Down low. Here's Pirtle. Kid grabs the board. I like his tenacity getting to the basket there, even though the dunk rattled out. 99 times out of 100, you'll get the dunk or the foul. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. Jake with it. To halt the run, buries the long-range jumper. And now it's Dick knocking down a three of his own. Grady ready to answer. And so it's Dallas in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Right back after this break. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And what do you think, guys, about Dallas here in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. They've got Scotty Barnes. Garrett Temple is out there with Justice Winslow. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, And it's Nora in at the three spot. That's the group for Toronto to start the second quarter. Now here's Barnes. His last outing, 16 points for him. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Dallas? You know, right from the start, it's saying they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the, the points, lane. too. Mind the lane. And another thing they've done so well is convert fast-break opportunities. Great job trusting their guys and getting those easy ones. And the technical free throw, missing that time. They'll retain possession here, however. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials. But, Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? Oh, Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation. But at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. Four on the clock. And that one's good, Barnes. He does not lack for confidence, and he shouldn't. I mean, this guy's a dangerous scorer. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, guys.
Guys, the professor in that last outing against the Cavaliers played phenomenal basketball. He scored an incredible number of points and, as always, was a force on defense, doing whatever he wanted at that end. The level he played at in that one was incredible. Now, he always wants to play his best against their rivals and, to say the least, mission accomplished. Guys? Yeah, David and stretches. He was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. For sure, and draws so much defensive attention that it opens up opportunities for others. Some changes for Toronto. Trent comes in for Chris Boucher and quickly in for Winslow. Raptors making a change here. Myrtle's checked in. Gibbs checked in for the Mavericks. Now a chance to check out which rookies are the best of the best. Still in February, so there is a lot of season left to go. But this group, folks, has separated themselves in the race for Rookie of the Year. You take a look at Kidd all season long. He has proven again and again that he is the cream of the crop. He's in the top spot right now, and the hardware could be his. And there's no more deserving candidate. Uh, any other outcome than him lifting that Rookie of the Year trophy, and I'd be shocked. The way he has sustained his level of play for the entire season, that's what's most impressive, the consistency of his performance. He hasn't had the major ups and downs that so many rookies go through. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative and make something happen. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. And the pass to quickly. Olenek with it. Shoots over Washington. A rebound by Washington. Here's Kidd. That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Wall's got three assists now in this one. Raptors trail by nine. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. And the basket is good. Barnes has got nine. Yeah, field goal percentage above 50 now. Their offense is starting to show. And, you know, that's a really good sign. I mean, they stumbled out of the gate, but uh, they're starting to look a little better now and regaining some ground. And he can take over in a nanosecond. I mean, once he catches fire... It's difficult to squelch it. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Can't hit that one. Here's Kidd. And he uses the glass on the layup. And now it's an 11-point Dallas lead. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Barnes outside. Trent again serving. Pass to Olenek from past the arc. It's rebounded by Dallas. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. They found their rhythm and kept piling it on. And a huge boost of confidence on the road for sure. Pass to Trent. Olenek, a screen on Irving. Trent finds Olenek. Bucket six. Screen by Olenek. Barnes. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. And they're starting to heat up is what they're doing. They're on fire. I mean, that's what they need to climb back into this game. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. You know, nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. And this is like another case of Murphy's Law right now, and it's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. R.J. Barrett's checked in for Toronto. And then for Dallas. Green, he's checked in for P.J. Washington. And it's Dante Exum in for Kyrie Irving. Left side kid. Over Pirtle. It's good from Kidd, the assist from Wall. Wall's got six assists now in the game. 
The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Passes it to Barrett. Over Green. And so it's Dallas. Their lead at 15 going into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything That's dropping right, in for them. Right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And hello, everybody. What an amazing first-half performance it's been for the Dallas Mavericks. You know, there's pushing the pace, and then you see what they're doing. They're going all out in transition, beating the defense up the court before it can even set up. A well-worn tactic that's certainly treating them very well. Boy, do they have some athletes. And now... Let's take a look at the Rookie of the Year race so far. I love what I'm seeing from Holmgren. He has a, sort of an effortless way of taking over. The game just comes naturally to him. Yeah, he stood out, man. I'm telling you, he's got to be excited about his future, these teams. This guy is unbelievable. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What a game we're seeing from the professor. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. Yeah, you know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do. Using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. And one outstanding thing the Raptors do, Greg, they really protect the ball. Yeah, even when they're not playing their best, they don't give away games with mistakes. They force you to find other ways to beat them. On the court for the Mavericks. They've got Exum. Kyrie Irving is out there with Wall. Then there's Kidd. And it's Prosper in at the four spot. Here's Pirtle. And it's blocked by Kidd. And it's out of bounds. The Raptors able to retain possession here. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. Boy, he is all over that shot. I mean, had it read the whole way, got himself in the position, and then was able to make the play. Just two to shoot. 
I'm sure that'll make John Wall's coach happy to see that kind of hustle and aggressiveness at the defensive end doing a really good job to smother. Good on the bucket. Irving's got his first basket of the night. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Barnes outside. To the inside. Here's Barrett. Misses off the left iron. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. The pass to Purdy. Back to Trent. Now, Pirtle, taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Trent against Irving. Pirtle. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Greg, talking about Jakob Pirtle, it doesn't seem like he gets enough credit for his defense. I don't think he does. I mean, he's an excellent rim protector and rebounder and a big man who just takes pride in defending. The Raptors shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. The free throw drops for Pirtle. Boy, Pirtle is a massive guy. Somebody that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks. That one misses. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. 0 for their first three attempts. Dallas leading by 20. And here is Kidd. 37 points for him. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. And the Raptors call time here. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for Kyrie Irving. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And a variety of factors can be the culprit. And a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point output. Wall against quickly. Pass to Barrett. Let's it go from deep. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Prosper's got his fifth rebound in this one. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean... Strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Trent passes to Purdy. Goes back up and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body, the angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. Dallas leading by 22. Here's Wall. And a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Greg, one thing you know, you're getting with Gary Trent Jr., volume three-point shooting. He lets it fly. And he is really fearless at the arc. I think because of his consistency. And when he gets hot, well, he can get on a burner.
that one is off. here for the Raptors. Pirtle, he is checked in for Gary Trent. Patty Barnes comes in for R.J. Barrett. And Winslow subbed in for Quickly. Here's Norrell. To the paint, here's Olenek. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. Kelly Olenek is out there with Scotty Barnes. Then it's Winslow. Then there's Jakob Pertl. And it's Nora in at the shooting guard position. That's the five out there for the Raptors. You can't seem to find the range here in the second. He did a great job in the first hitting three from outside. Winslow kicks to Barnes. Olenek sets a screen for Barnes. Pass to Olenek. Launches a three. And Lively pulls it down. Dallas leading by 21. And the NBA said expansion should wait until after the new CBA. Greg, that's done, so what new teams? I mean, Kevin, it seems like Seattle's been waiting forever. Professional teams have been crowding into Las Vegas, and don't sleep on Mexico City. A lot of potential fans south of the border. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. He's really picked up where he left off in the first. And it's Barnes with the ball for the Toronto Raptors. Passes it to Olenek. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Barnes has got his fourth assist in this one. Oh, Linux gotten four of his nine shots to go. And here's Kidd from the arc. It's hauled in by the Raptors. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Mora, the pass to Barnes. Out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. Dallas making a switch here. Kleba's checked in. 157 left in the fourth quarter. Outside kid. Pirtle with the steal. To the middle. And Barrett slams it in. And you see the edge Barrett plays with attacking the rim with bad intentions. Outside kid. This one for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Kid's got 48. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Inside. It's good from Barnes on the assist by Pirtle. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the Mavericks. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some... Another one goes. Incredible. It's incredible. This is what he does. Another 50-point game for him. Now tied for second place all time. 
right there with Michael Jordan, who also made a habit of taking over offensively. Both guys are on a whole nother level. Now the pass to Kidd. From deep. Another bucket. Wow. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game you get the sense he just can't miss pass to Barnes Barrett against Kleba Trent kicks to Barrett down to five on the shot clock takes a three kid grabs the board you know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. Takes the three. Another three for Dallas. And it's just... It's competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Barnes down low. He's covered by Kidd. Pirtle kicks to Barrett. To the paint. And it's quickly in the corner. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the Good way game. around. Good and game. that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.
your game, MP. Only a couple of guys in NBA history have scored more points than you have this season. That's Hall of Fame level right there.
What's going on, coach? I heard the wreck is packed today. You should head over there and show off that shot you've been working on. 